Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, and we are off for a horror hashtag free game by Reframe Games. Noxia Somnia, a 2D kind of beat em up ish, RPG ish platformer game where we fight nightmarish personifications of people's fear. Very interesting, very Psychonauts esque, very Persona esque in a way of how that appears in my head. This is an exclusive demo that will be available during the 9th through the 16th of the Steam Next Fest uh, event. This is the Noxia Somnia Next Fest build. It says it in the bottom right corner of the screen there. And it's controller compatible. So let's boot this up. I've already messed with my settings for the sound and all that, but yeah. Um, I haven't really got anything else other than just check the settings here, so let's just play it. Start the demo. There's no embargo, so I'm able to show this whenever I want. I did ask if there was. I wasn't told. So, unless I'm told after I release this video, now you know. There is no public demo available at the time that I am doing this. So, game mode select. Face your fears. Focus on reflection and themes. Less on combat. Difficulty is low. Enemies are more forgiving. Story achievements are available. More accessible story. And you can pet the cat! Yes, that's the main draw. We can pet cats. Because any games that don't allow you to pet cats or dogs is not really that much of a good game. Twilight Prince is the exception because you can actually pick up the dogs and cats. Uh, Nightmare, though, is a balance of story and gameplay. Survival horror experience. Combat is challenging but fair. Enemies are perceptive, so they pay attention more. Challenge achievements are available. And optional bosses are available. But we can't pet the cat. Ooh, you know what? I need to give myself the proper, like, you know, experience. So I am going to go with the actual nightmare. Because this is supposed to be a horror game. And since the full story isn't here, because this is a demo, apparently I have to complete the demo on normal to unlock. Um, what does it mean by normal? Face your fears or nightmare? <laughs> I assume nightmare is normal. So, yeah. I can't play game this game mode, apparently. But apparently you can complete the demo, so let's go Nightmare. Oh. Oh, I have to hold to select. I guess that's to lock it in. Sprite-based, obviously. Oh, okay. Do you want to skip the prologue? Playing the prologue is highly recommended for new Plat 1. Well, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna be doing that, and maybe a bit of Act 1. And if you guys want to see more, let me know. Because I only do one video, get my first thoughts about it, and then I move on to whatever is next. So let's play the prologue and see what awaits. Another one. Alright, DJ Khaled. Yeah. Another recluse. We got some Banjo Kazooie like noises for text dialogue. Does he have any chance to escape? He's not locked in yet. But can he turn his life around before tonight? I doubt it. What, are we in purgatory? The gates of hell? <laughs> Dead side? Marrow gates? He's waking up. Let's get out of here. I prefer not to be around when it shows up. Agreed. What are they on about? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like our health is at 27 and we got a heartbeat. Oh, B wait. What? B? B is my menu. I'm playing with a Switch controller. Which means, um, conf well, close menu and use item are swapped. Um, okay. Expectations, regret, acceptance, and other. Wallet. Oh, they're my items. Okay. That is not what I was expecting when I read, you know, expectations, regret, and acceptance. An old wallet I've held on to for years. I think it's a hand-me-down for my grandfather. It's definitely starting to show its age. Anyway, the weather is weathered and falling apart. Understandable. Uh, we have a pocket knife. Does four damage. This is the RPG stuff I was on about. It's uh, used for self-defense and opening boxes. No attachment to our flashlight. Bomber jacket. Uh, lightweight jacket. Tristan's worn this for years. So our name is Tristan. No summon. You're all alone. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, game. <laughs> we can... Oh, we can summon pets. Cat and dog, I assume. Okay, I didn't think that would be our summons. Uh, empty soul slot. We're about to grab one, it seems. <laughs> it provides no benefit whatsoever. 
Game's got a bit of a sassy side. Oh, okay, that's our pause menu. It's our phone. So that's just the usual settings. So B is to use items and stuff. We're using shards and coins. That's it for now. Okay. What's the Y button do? Nothing. X? X is attack. Okay, so... Switch X is attack. I can't jump. I can't look down or, cr or crouch or look up. Uh... Shoulder buttons and triggers do nothing. Clicking the sticks does nothing. Okay. So all I really need is my X button right there. Oh, that's just giving me the tutorial. I thought that was a collectible. I'm just... Just, just look at me in my jolly old jaunt. You know, just just walking. Oh, I forgot. It swapped. Oh, wait. I, I can't... I can't interact with you. Oh, I need to... It means do this. I thought it meant interact with that. There we go. Now we've got a flashlight. Is that equipped? Simple web hand light uh, can illuminate dark areas and will reduce stress. Oh, is that what the beating line is on my health bar? That's my stress level. I'm guessing if that goes up, that goes faster, that means I'm more stressed out. Which probably means I will take more damage. You can use it as a weapon by holding, uh, holding down and attacking with it, but it's extremely weak. Why would I do that? Yeah, I can't even, wait, how do I use it? Oh, that's the wrong one. Use item. Am I, am I using it? Use item. Pressing the button, but it's not letting me actually use it. My button? Oh, I don't know. Oh, toggle flashlight. It's telling me and I'm not paying attention. It's, it said use in the menu, so I assumed it was that. That's why I wasn't paying attention to, well, this very prompt in my face. The flashlight will reduce stress, but you'll be more visible to enemies. That's understandable. I'd rather see them coming so I can attack them. Oh, I see. If I have it equipped, I can bonk enemies on the head with it. I can't dual wield. I'd rather protect myself. Then, interactable objects prompt will change to a key if you have the item required to use it. I don't, so I need to find the key for that. Uh, let's put that back on there. To access the menu, yep. So we'll grab that. That's a medical kit. That's useful. Equip consumables on your inventory by pressing the quick slot button. Pressing it outside the menu will use the item. What's that button? Inventory back. Uh, quick slot. Oh, it's my. It's my X. No, that's... Oh, attack a taser. Quick slot. Yeah, it's my Y button. Okay. I probably should use the PlayStation controller for this, because this game doesn't seem to... Well, it's a demo, so they probably didn't think about that. Um, press that button to attack. Yep, I kind of figured that out. If you have to use... Turn the flashlight off to use your melee weapon. Do next no damage. At least it'll knock enemies away. Aha! There we go. Different types of pickups. White are typically consumables or key items. Yellow are collectibles. Blue items are equipment. So this could be either a consumable or an important item. Oh, nope, that's the... There we go. Main door key. The thing is, A and B are the correct buttons in the menus, but obviously they're not visually, so i just got to remember that. So I've got the key, so now I can go in here. Door's unlocked. I'll discard the key, don't think I need it anymore. Fair enough, in goes. Oh my lord, it is dark in here. I can't angle the light, which is a problem. I do not like what looks like on the ceiling there. Right, so if something comes at me, I've got to turn the light off and... Nope, turn the light off and... Swing. Uh, the game just saved. Uh, why is my health at 100 all of a sudden? I had 27. Did I use my... Hang on. I didn't use the medical kit. Did I regenerate my health at some point? I didn't notice. I swear that was at 27 for a while. Turning it off before I go in. Oh, I can't. Can't go in. Okay. Shit! Ho! Oh! Oh! Ho! 
Oh god, that jump. That's a jump scare. Right, turn the light off, turn the light off. Oh, but no, run, run, run. Why do you have so many eyeballs? I do not approve. I cannot outrun this thing. We're gonna wake up. This is overwhelming anxiety. You're a failure. A stain on your family name. There's no future for you. Well, that's just not very nice, is it? No. Do I really have no future? God, what am I gonna do? Well, if we wake up. Oh, after. Whoa, hey! Stab it! Stab it! I can't dodge roll or anything like that. I don't think I can, at least. But right, is it running away time? It's running away time! I'm not too sure why he didn't just continue to walk to me because. I could have just taken. He could have just taken me out. You're running out of time. Everyone you know and love is going to die. You will be alone. Is it even possible to turn my life around? Again, this is like a metaphorical thing. We're fighting against our overwhelming anxiety. It's... Oi! That, I was not expecting a Kamehameha laser out of his mouth. I'll tell you that. Because everything is bloody for one thing. That was like pure light. Spit. Right, running away. Light monster! <laughs> Face the light! It's artificial. They'll all just laugh at you. You'll never be accepted for who you are. No. There has to be a way I can be myself. Right? Keep telling yourself that, mate. That's what you need to do. I cannot move fast enough to dodge that. It's also kind of like ATB turn based, because like every time he can attack, that's when that bar disappears. Because see, that bar filled up again, and once it's finished decreasing, he can attack again. So the enemies operate on an active time battle system, which is kind of interesting, but I don't. Yeah, that was a nightmare. That made sense. Wasn't expecting that, though. I knew that there was something up when I couldn't go into the door. There wasn't even a prompt for it. Holy shit. It was just a nightmare. But it felt so real. I mean, a big, massive ball with multiple eyes is probably not real. I should get ready. It's almost time to go to work. Not a great day for it, I'll tell you that. So this is probably like the downtime part of the game, where we're just going to be walking around and stuff. Landline sits on the stand, nightstand next to my bed. Doesn't seem like I have any messages. Fair enough. It's funny that, considering we have our phone right here, but... You know. Wait. Oh, if I'm... Okay. I kept on pausing because I was wondering what was going on. But he sits down with, like, a drink. And he's looking at his phone, which is to the right of him there. But if you pause while you're in mid-motion, he doesn't go into that pose. Which is what was messing me up there. I was wondering what was going on. Oh, it just turns light on and off. Okay, fair enough. Wait, do I still have that med kit? It'd be a bit weird. Also, I like how we have the little um, watermark of it saying it's the next build and it's moved over to the left now. Oh, we're in uniform. Man, what a terrible day. Are we a Janna or a delivery man? Got backed up on orders, but at least it's almost closing time. Maybe I can finally get some rest. I feel so tired. Also, the lights flickering is not good. So, what, was that the day? I'll just close my eyes for a second or two. Oh, no, that's not good. Did we just hide in the closet? Uh, do you seriously fall asleep? Okay, who's talking? Like, is these the audience or something? Or is these two weird denizens of the nightmare realm? <laughs> Andrew? Oh, okay. Tristan, wake up! Oh, sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. I had to power through to finish my history project. Wait. Was that a part-time job and we're also at school? Did we just time skip to school? Hard at work. Huh? Did we get it done? Barely. I rewrote the damn thing like five times, but I think it's alright. Someone's a perfectionist. Nice. Means dedication. I wouldn't rewrite. It's 
annoying writing scripts and stuff like that for projects. Well, she got to head to my history class. Hope your project goes well. That teacher's kind of a hard ass. Yeah. I'm heading to class as well. Good luck, dude. Thanks. Hopefully I'll get a passing mark at least. You guys go ahead without me. I've got to pack up my stuff. I mean, he's hoping for, like, the minimum, but he's read it, like, five times, so he clearly, like, puts in the effort. He wasn't too sure if he was fine with what he was doing, and decided to redo the whole thing, and he's done it five times. I think, despite getting a grade, I think they would appreciate the fact that you, if you had it in your other drafts, they'd see the work process. You're putting in the time and the effort, so, you know, this dude can't be a failure, surely. Unless he really doubts himself that much because of his anxiety, then that might be a different story entirely. Can I move, please? Thank you. I was about to say, we just like, went from work, fell asleep again, and then we're at the end of a school day, and I still have my med kit from the dream realm. Oh, oh wait, hang on a minute. Do I, do I still have my light? I do not have my light. Oh, we just finished work, it looks. Or is this the cafeteria of the school? Our school cafeteria is infamous for being overpriced. They have the gall to sell a bag of carrot sticks for six. Okay, that's taken the mig. You can buy, like, a carrot and do it yourself. The food isn't half bad, though. I mean... It's no excuse. Sign advertising the soup of the day. It's chicken noodle. Hell yeah! <laughs> Door leads to the kitchen. Students aren't allowed back there. Probably to hide all the bodies. <laughs> Lunch lady likes to give me the... That always did give me the creeps. <laughs> Hide the bodies. <laughs> this is where I keep all of my bodies in my closet. I guess something out of here. Vending machine has snacks in it. Some psychopath specifically designed these so that the chips would get stuck. Thanks, Satan. <laughs> this game's got a sense of humour for a horror game. I like it. Nothing over there. Actually, was this where we... No. It was a, it was a school hallway. Ah, this looks familiar. There's a student here texting their phone instead of going to class. Going to class? It looks like it's sunset. He'd probably beat the shit out of me if I bother him, so I'll just leave him alone. Yeah, fair. Wait, am I getting some screen tearing? I am, actually, unless that's actually what's going on with the game. I say it's a 60 FPS because that is my monitor's um, frame rate, but if I feed sync it, it might be a lot better. I can't tell. I think it might be just the style and how the camera moves. I have a few friends in this class, but it's not where I'm going right now. I probably shouldn't intrude. Where am I going, man? Most of a few dates for the 2020 graduation class. There's prom, the ceremony itself, and a graduation party. I'm sure it won't be interrupted by a global pandemic. Oh, well, gee! That's not hitting the nail on the head with a giant... With the Hammer of Discipline? I was about to say Giant Iron Mallet, but I think the Hammer of Discipline would signify that you would probably be, in fact, living in a cave. A map of the world I'm not very familiar with. Never paid that much attention to geography. Only ever left Canada twice in my life. Both times were trips to Florida. Worst mistake of my life. Wait, mistake? Which one was the mistake? Or was it just not travelling more? In the case of trophies and awards for the best of the best. No, these are for me. I barely scraped most of my time, uh, despite my parents I insisting I was doing good. Just giving you encouragement. I wasn't passionate about the courses I took anyway. I mean, fair enough. High school wasn't the best thing for me, for one, so, you know. I know it's different uh, in the US. It's slightly different how it works. There's a couple of students blocking the hallway ahead. My classroom isn't this way, though. Guessing it's B2. Is there anything else I can do in this corridor? Don't want to miss stuff. So I didn't exactly go left. It's a no smoking sign. It mentions a fine of up to $305. That's a bit of a weird number. Also, that's incredibly high. And school suspension as punishment for smoking on school property. How is a student going to get so like issued up to $305? It would probably go to the parents. You'd think most people would just go somewhere else to smoke, but a surprising amount of kids have been caught and fined for smoking on location. But yeah, but this is in a hallway. Indoors with no ventilation. Like, you don't even do that normally. What? I mean, you could probably get away with it in the bathrooms, but or the toilets, but you know what I mean. 
A few people in the student council decided to host a bake sale for charity. Wait, stop buying grab a couple of uh, things later this week if I have the time. It's for a good cause after all. Yeah, you know it. A door with some kind of electrical lock. I just heard a bunch of voices. Do I have to get the class or something? <laughs> Why am I staring at a door? Okay, I'll probably turn that up in editing. Every time I stand next to that door, I get voices. What happens if I keep checking it? Oh, nothing. Okay. I wonder if that's just a thing there, or if it's because I was at the edge of the screen and I can hear things through the walls. Oh. Oh, no, I can literally just hear things through the doors I'm standing next to. Okay. I thought that was just a thing to, to put me off of ease. Uh, hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, has everyone handed in their projects? Oh. You're late again, Tristan. I assume that means you got your project done. Hurry up. Let me take a look at it. Yeah, I've rewritten it five times, Teach. I wasn't too sure. I kept on rewriting it over and over. Garbage. Rude? That was the fifth draft! Everything has gone black and white. What? Come on. You can't honestly think this is acceptable. Do you even proofread this, you... Tro... Tro... Trogodite? Okay, maybe I'm the one who lives in a cave, because I didn't realise that that was literally the definition for living in a cave. But I, I don't... Despite having a B in English myself, I don't actually recognise that word. So I had to look it up. And uh, I didn't want to assume that that was a derogatory term that is bad so you know because you know schools can be like that some teachers may be like that although they really shouldn't be so i was just playing it safe so sorry for the cut there because i don't tend to cut you in these uh games too much for my first playthroughs huh? well huh? i did i tried like five times i reread it five times so i wasn't entirely too sure if I was satisfied, so that counts for something, right? Spare me the waterworks. Whoa, what is going on? Walls are collapsing. This sorry excuse for a project. This is another showcase of your incompetence. Don't you agree, class? Oh, don't get the whole class on us. Yeah, how embarrassing. Now, now you're bullying. This is something that a teacher shouldn't be doing. You just say, nope, that's a fail. We'll speak after class, at least. 50% at best. 50%? Are you kidding me? It's a big fat F. Alright, now you're just dis being disrespectful. You might be right, but I worked hard on that. I'm trying to turn my grades around and should have tried a bit harder. Why don't you tell the class how it feels to be such a failure? What? What is going on here? Don't you get it, Tristan? You're not going anywhere in life. You lack ambition and talent. You are nobody. I'm going to do us all a favour and put an end to your miserable existence. Alright, this is not real. And that is what I saw in the trailer. No! Nope. Ah, shit. I just got stabbed. Oh, okay! Wait, can I not attack? I actually cannot attack. Where... Where's my knife? I have my knife, but I'm pressing the attack button. I, I'm not attacking. I guess I can't use it on school premises. Or this is literally just us going mad in our brain. I think we have self-esteem issues. We're outrunning him like e very easily, though. That's not even a joke. Hang on a minute. This corridor's not ending. Oh, we got out. Nice. Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. Expose heart creature. Why don't you just give up? You're clearly slowing down. You must be tired. But I made it, though. Oh, shit. He got me. I'm on the floor. Collapsed. I didn't realise that's what happened. No, you don't know me. I can still turn this around. I know I can turn this around. 
This is just a bad dream. It is. It's just a bad dream. Why don't you wake up? Wake up. Where's the heart creature? Wake up. Oh, were well, we flashed back? Okay, so that whole entire thing was a dream. Okay, I was wondering why we jumped to school right after going to work and having a little bit of a nap. But it seemed like we were just having a bad dream at school. Because we're not a student anymore. We're actually, you know, old enough to work. It's not a part-time thing. That makes a bit more sense. Hey, man, are you all right? You were out for a second there. You were muttering shit in your sleep. Uh huh? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Huh. Right. I'll let it slide this time. Huh? Yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Man, just concerned. I mean, I would be too if you, like, were asleep and muttering things on work time. That's... For all you know, that could be serious. Huh. Huh. Just clean up and clock out. From now on, save the sleep for bedtime. Got it. Huh? But yeah, I uh, got it. Yeah. All right, manager. Everything seems to be in order now. Just get out of here, get some sleep. A cheap shelf containing supplies, instant mashed potato mix, tongs, racks for holding product, and more. It's this thing. A pair of deep fryers for chicken and a small stove top. The fryers left has been broken on for months, so we get backed up on orders quite often. Okay, so you've only got half of that machine working. Well, at least you get the orders fulfilled, I guess. Trash bag full of garbage and congealed grease from the fryer. Working here has made me lose my appetite for chicken significantly. Is that a jump cut back home? No, we're actually on the streets. I guess we just parked our car. Uh, do I have a... don't have my... Oh yeah, because it would be in that menu, wouldn't it? So that's not the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's this way? Can't go that way. Looks like bollards are doing roadworks. That's not our apartment. Herbal tea! 100% tea! Actually, tea requires water. So I can't go to any of these apartments. So we're just walking home. Ooh. An ad for tong ko tonkotsu ramen. Made with pork broth. A bit too expensive for my taste. You just said that you weren't into chicken. Add from extremely spicy udon noodles. Don't think I need a stomachache right before going to bed. Fair enough. Oh. You sick or something? No? Why you ask? You're as pale as a ghost. Keep your distance. I'm not about to catch the virus. Oh, yeah. Because it's 2020. Or at least it was in the school at the time. Does this have to... No smoking within 8 feet of the building, you could add yourself up to 305, yep. So that just seems to be the standard fine. Is that actually the fine in America? My god. It's ridiculous, like, around here it's like, what, 150? Highest? Some modern art. So is this our apartment place? This building don't look too bad. An old computer sits at the front desk, I don't think it works. I mean, they polish the floors really well. So that's not too bad, I guess. Awesome lobby. Ah. We're in the drungy floors. Careful around the lights. There's a bunch of broken glass and wiring laying around. What happened? One of the light bulbs blew up. Whoever wired this building was a psychopath. Uh -huh. Did anyone get hurt? Not that I know of. We're all just glad it didn't cause a fire or something. Might need to rewire the whole floor. Oh, that's going to cause a nightmare to happen, isn't it? Can I dog around? I do walk around. <laughs> hey, man. You all look awful, bad night. Uh -huh. eh, that's one way to put it. One of the fryers broke down, backed up a shit ton of orders. That sucks. At least you're not being pursued by eldritch horrors in the Shadow Realm or anything. Excuse me, what? You have these nightmares too, you my man? Oddly specific example, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to pass out now. Have a nice rest. You've definitely earned it. 
Oh, what a what a lad. What a foreboding odd but also mutual lad. <laughs> Uh, coroner's notes attached to the door. I remember when the police showed up. He's been in a coma for a few days and was found during a wellness check. He was stable for the hospital for about a month, but apparently he just spontaneously died one day. That's some creepy shit. Maybe he died in his sleep. Is this ours, or what? Why are you quit being so loud in the hallway? My kids are trying to sleep. Your kids are trying to sleep? Maybe you should stop yelling? Don't you dare tell me what to do! I'll call the landlord to get you evicted for harassment! Uh, Alright, should probably just leave her alone then. Uh, that was a bit random. This is our one! Uh, I want to go back out of my door for a second, because I want to check this door over here. You know what I haven't been doing? Being quiet next to every door. An eviction notice. The guy who lived there went completely crazy one day. Stopped leaving his apartment, boarded up the doors, refused to let anyone in. He said something was after him. Right. After not paying his rent for weeks, the police brought a warrant and went to arrest him. He was dead in the apartment when they found him, though we never found out how it happened. Got no statement, no nothing. Okay, she was yelling, but there's literally no sound there. Interesting. I think we've left the TV on because I see a glow on the TV, but the only reason why I was pausing for a minute is because I could ever so slightly hear something in my right ear, and that's in the direction of the TV on my screen. So this game's got some 3D sound going on. And cat food. Oh, do we have a cat? Oh, we have a cat. We have a cat! Hello! Build the food bowl. There we go. Hello! Oh, we can still pet the cat! Yes! I'm not on the easy difficulty. I can still pet the cat! Oh, yes! I'm happy. It didn't specify we could do that on the normal, on the nightmare difficulty. And yet we can. I like this game. <laughs> an old game console from the 80s sits underneath the television. Looks like an NES. It's gathering a bit of dust, but I still use it from the time to time. The foundations of game design were laid down all those decades ago. Such limited hardware. It's beyond impressive to me. Ah, you're into the classics, are you, my man? Sounds about left. Yeah, turn the light off. Alright, no messages. Um, that's it, I guess. Could have probably got through this prologue a lot quicker if I just, you know, went straight to the finish, but... <laughs> I wanted to check everything. Um, well, isn't this weird? Do we... still don't even have my light. Like, what? Like, every night I start fresh? I don't... Okay, for some reason, I can't use my knife. Let me have a look here. Combat... Yeah, it's equipped, so... Why have I not been able to attack this entire time? That's what's bothering me. Take that. Flashlight, here we go. Whoa! That was an awesome transition. It's like our mind is generating more of the dream. You know, actually, I'm getting, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Night in the Woods vibes, because you do a lot of stuff in dreams. But that's not horror, really. It's more like exploring the psychological comment of losing friends and moving on things changing in your life due to work and stuff trying to relive the good old days but you don't sort of thing i have thought about playing it dawn m bennett was playing it but then she stopped after a while that was back when she was streaming regularly i'm here again i recognize this place from my dreams it's a peaceful forest enveloped in a gentle breeze it's my safe place. Somewhere I go to forget about life for a while. Ah, so this is our happy place. This is the gentle sounds of rain. Leaves blowing in the wind. It's peaceful. I should take a walk around. Enjoy it before I wake up again. Ah. Funny how it's at the dead of night, though, but I guess that could also be calming in a way. So this is Tristan's happy place. 
Although that eyeball isn't very inviting. Uh, I'm going to just... Eh. There's a large gate blocking this path. A depression that resembles an eye is in the center. Maybe I can find something to open it. Okay, when you describe it as a depression, that's... Ooh, that hits hard. Is it wise going that way? I don't really have a choice, do I? Little hut in the woods. What is this, full night? Oh! Well, this is no longer a happy place, is it? Oh, happy place has been ruined. Oh, at least I can attack with the lamp, I guess. Something's going to happen when I pick this up, I know it. Oh! Square stone engraved with the symbol of an eye is in the center. I can... S There's, like, light coming through here, but I can't check it. being cautious. I have a feeling that our happy place is going to be either a hub of sorts before we delve into more nightmare streamers of our own psyche, or this place is going to get more corrupted over time, and we got to come back and stop it at some point. The emblem fits perfectly into the depression, and the lock clicks open. in that way. Now that cabin was unsettling. Oh! You're in terrible danger, Kristen. Huh? What? Huh? Who are you? You say, in your brain. Let's save the introductions for later. You've been drawn into another realm, and are being hunted by shadows. Right, that seems pretty accurate. If you're unable to escape, you'll never return to your reality. Your soul will be consumed by dark creatures of darkness. Do you really expect me to believe this shit? Mate, we've already gone through it like twice before getting to this point. <laughs> it sounds on point. Don't question it. I will prove it to you in time. There's a portal ahead that leads to somewhere safe. I urge you to hurry. I'll explain more once you get there. Good luck. Okay, we're probably going to have to sprint. Wait, oh wow, that was, wasn't even that much of a jaunt. Did you not have just waited 10 more seconds to introduce me? Pfft. Whoa, status, HUD status, hello. Oh, this might be our hub then. Ah, I've got my knife back, finally. Even though I've had it for how long? <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's a steel box. Who's this guy? Hopeless one. Ah! Oh, another lost soul. Instead in the spider's web. Welcome to hell. The spider's web? What do you mean? They're nothing but insects to those beasts. We're all just waiting to be torn apart and turned into food. Such a pathetic. Existence. I've been here for quite some time, and I've seen soul after soul walk past me in search of escape, but none can come back. You and I will die in this hell. The most we can hope for is a swift death. I mean, if you want a swift death, wouldn't trying to escape actually give you that? Because, you know. Oh, shards. Hello. Finally got some collectibles. Oh, I can just turn the lights off, okay. So where's this guy then? Here we go. Oh, shop. Welcome, Tristan. You may call me the guide. You're the one I saw in the forest. You said that I'm in danger. Indeed, you are being hunted. Until you defeat the harvesters that are holding you here, you'll be unable to return to your reality. 
Oh, so we were slipping in to these nightmarish realms of our own anxiety, and now we're being completely locked in. And you're also telling me that our happy place is basically a gateway to it. But if we go to our happy place when all seems lost, we will be lost. So it's kind of a trap. Harvesters. So there's no more real life stuff. We're now just here. That's what people call them around here. They're monsters tasked with hunting down those who are trapped within this realm and harvesting their souls. Okay. Wait a second. You're saying I'd have to kill them to get out of here? Do I look like a shotgun wielding space marine to you? <laughs> That's a Doom reference. Or Halo, I guess. Some knight in shining armor? I can't fight for shit, dude. Yes, I know. There's a way to make things easier. Do you see these stone frames behind you? Oh, I had to press the A button. <laughs> These are gateways to places that represent your greatest fears. If you can overcome them, you'll weaken the harvesters and give yourself a fighting chance. Well, maybe this is our happy place then. This is where we train. They use your fears of yours as fuel. What you fear, the stronger they are. Have courage. In time, you can become strong enough to stand up to them. Why should I even trust you? This is absurd. You don't have to trust me, but you don't have much of a choice either. If you ignore my advice, you'll be dead in an hour. What? Is there a time limit? Have some faith. I promise you can get out of this unharmed, alright? Fine, I'll go along with this for now. Good. The first portal is open for you now. I'll contact you again once you're in. Good luck. Alright. I can't talk to you. That's got a boss icon on the door, so that's interesting. Oh, hello. Espresso! Wouldn't that not wake me up? Like, forcefully wake me up. Extremely potent coffee. This will increase your stamina recharge rate and, and speed for 60 seconds. Right, okay. I'll go any further, can I? No. It's a little bit annoying that I'm not able to jump, but it makes sense when you're grounded in reality. Well, except that we're not. We're grounded in a freaking nightmare realm. Um. Oh. Smooth jazz. What's my high radio? Uh. Oh, trade offers. I'll give you a mint green jacket for some scissor blades. Oh. I'm getting cuphead vibes from this. Oh, I like it. Also Mario vibes. So, well, if I gather these materials, I'll be able to get some awesome items. <laughs> You're new here, aren't you? How could you tell? It's the lack of fear in your eyes. You clearly don't understand what you're in for. This realm isn't friendly for those who don't know how to navigate it. Yeah, you. I'd probably die if the guide says it's true. Not much of a fighter, to be honest with you. Perhaps my services could be of some assistance to you. I sell quality wares that could aid you in your travels. I'll consider it. Feel free to browse. It's not like you're getting out of here soon anyways. <laughs> Actually, I have one more thing before you leave. You see that board behind you? The one with the notes pinned to it? Yeah, I just checked that. I get that sword on top of there, actually. I wear the cone as a helmet. Yeah, what about it? Those are requests I have for specific ways you might come across in your travels. Check the board frequently. I can offer some truly unique ways if you bring me what I need. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. God, this music is awesome. Wait. Oh, there we go. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, right, so school safe codes. List of codes saves throughout the school. Very good value. Buy it now. I don't have any money. It's not the same money that I've been collecting so far, I'm guessing. Reduce a stress build up. Purpose 30 seconds. Restore some amount of health when used. Cat whistle for Greg. Summons a cat to help you. The tag attached to the key reads Greg. 
like the key to whistle. It said keychain. But I can't buy anything at the moment. But uh, how long have we been going on for? Almost an hour already. Wow, that's a long. Just exploring everything gives you a quite a long prologue. We'll dip our toes into the first gate and let's see what we're in for. We'll go for an hour. Why not? It's a horror game. It's got a slow build up, and I've been reading literally everything. I don't even know how long the demo goes on for, to be honest, so. Oh, I can enter there. Stop doing that, you stupid idiot. Herbal tea, that's useful. That was worth going in there for. We do have a light. We don't exactly need it at the moment. Oh, okay, I thought we were looking at the wisp in front. I recognise this place. What is it to you? It's my old high school. Looks a bit different from how I remember it, though. I can see parts of the world breaking at the, in the background there. This environment is conjured by the harvester that rules the area. They take pieces, they take places from your past to manipulate you, twisted them into a maze of horrors. You won't be able to rely on your memories of this place to navigate it. We need to stay vigilant. Well, considering that the player wouldn't know the locations anyway, it's not really much difference to the player. You'll encounter the harvester in this room eventually. It's inevitable that it will try to stop you. You have a couple of options if it detects you. First off, running away. Escaping it might take some time and you'll need to think quickly on your feet. It'll chase you relentlessly. Or you can try to fight it. It'll win the harvester's pursuit faster, but it's risky. You won't be able to kill it just yet, but enough persistence could incapacitate it for a few seconds. Only attempt it if you're confident in your abilities. Shit. Got it. I'll leave you to it. Good luck and stay safe. Wishes the best for us. Oh, what's this? Some jackass decided to toss a can to the ground here. Have they ever never heard of recycling? Lesser monsters can be killed using your weapon. They will drop items as well as experience. Oh, experience shards. Okay. I'm guessing that's my purple number. Remember, you can only use your weapon when your flashlight is off. Can I sneak up on you? Whatever. Nope. Bait him. Got him. Scissor blade. Hello. Is that stronger than what I already have? Oh no, it's a... It's not one of them. can be exchanged in the shop for special items. It is a drop item. It's a trade item. Whoa. You can return to the hub world using safe rooms. Ah, okay. So I have options to flee. Right, so are those experience shards then? Because the purple number in my HUD didn't uh, go up. Let's go through the back door here. Oh, hello. I'll we'll go in here first. Is that going to hurt me? Oi! Okay then. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's not happening. I did not take as much damage from that as I thought. But I didn't expect that much knockback either. Uh, to turn the light off. Stabby. Oh, I can just walk past him. It played. Oh, I've got coins. Ah, I need coins. Whoa. Hang on. Turn my light off. Oh, that's my stress meter. Notice it's going up. Even the side of the cat of the screen flashes purple. If I have my light on, it's going down now. In fact. Yeah, I was right. That little uh, heart meter, you can actually hear your heartbeat. And the faster it is due to the stress, I'm guessing that's going to start doing damage to me or something. Interesting. Oh, what's this? 
harvesters slaughter their prey and attempt to collect their souls. However, some souls refuse to give in even after death of their physical bodies. They'll remain here forever. Unless. Unless what? You take them with you. You can escape this place with their souls in tow. You could set them. In exchange, they can offer you their power. They can help you grow stronger to face the harvesters. Huh. What? This gets more unbelievable by the minute. Oh! Soul of the Acrobat. Dodge through danger safely with a well to. Oh, we get earn the ability to roll. Nice. Oh, and we need it to get past that now. Yeet! Oh, and that's how we know that if souls can be equipped to Tristan to enhance Tristan's abilities. Soul of Vigor provides health regeneration. Right, okay. Soul of a Doctor. They were brought into the Harvester's realm after failing to save someone close to them. They hope they can redeem themselves one day. It restores one health every two seconds. Perk, Resilience. Restores an additional one health every two seconds. Oh, that's the perk that we just read. I mean, that's useful. So I'll definitely take. But we can dodge roll now, which is useful. Oh, shit. My, uh, my, my stress meter was going up like crazy. Ow. Ow. Okay, I, I will admit, I got greedy there. But apparently the enemies regenerate, so that's a thing. But now I'll be able to dodge past this, which is perfect. Yup! And we've got the main door key. Yep. Well, dodging's definitely helpful, but I don't want to spam it to travel. I am going to kill you again. Oh, whoops. Uh, turn that off. Stab. I meant to... That's better. Taking a bit of stupid damage, I will admit. Oh, okay, when we're outside, the... our stress bar just goes down immediately. Two stabs, and then... Okay, I thought I could do two stabs and walk by. That's how I was doing it before, but... Getting faster. And inside now, the key is discarded. Bandages, that's a heal. See a glimmer of light behind this vent. It's a quarter. It's barely out of my reach. I'll probably grab it if I found something long enough to reach it. Right, okay. Let's go in here. Ooh. A bunch of usual stuff in here. Expectations, bloodstained note. A note stained with blood. I recognize it as a page from the project I handed in at the start of all this madness. Oh. Admittedly, it's not my best work. I put it off until the last minute, starting the project the night before it was due. It reads less like an essay and more like mad ramblings of a sleep deprived the caffeine addict. Part of me wishes I applied myself more. Maybe if I'd worked hard, if I pushed myself beyond my limits, I could have made something great. Guess it's too late now, though. No chance to redo. I fucked up and I have to live with it. I mean, improve yourself for next time. But there was no need for the teacher to be like that, if that was the case. Oh! Oh, I see! How many coins do I have? Nope. Uh, seven. I don't have ten yet. Damn it, I have nine. You know what? Screw you. Ah, it's not going to regenerate. Cool. Espresso! They'll put a key in the vending machine. The tag attached that says Wing B access key. The slight cost a dollar. I don't have any cash on me, but if I can find some change, I can... if I found some change, I could buy it. Ah, so I need a dollar worth of change, and that's a quarter, so I need to pick up the quarter. So there is some sort of puzzle element here. It's back out the main front, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's to lure me in. It's him again. Exposure gauge on the top right of the screen indicates the monster is detecting you. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. I don't like that. Turn off your first night hide in a separate room to reduce your exposure. Oh, I don't like that. Wait. How's he seeing me? Oh, God, you can see him through the windows! I picked up a quarter. I didn't notice. Soul of security. Defense increased at full health. Oh, so my first damage taken would be re massively reduced. Yeah, equip it. That would be a fool not to. He just went left. No, wait, no. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, I need to turn this on because I just... I just realised I was taking damage because my stress meter was quite high. Go, 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 go. I hear him. He's dead. Oh, the bar was filling. Didn't notice that. Uh, nope. Turn this off. So, technically, if I was really good at the game, I could probably fight the thing now and immediately finish the segment. It's another quarter. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm not leaving the light on in to um, get rid of my uh, stress level. Oh, it actually does encompass my entire energy bar. Look, if you watch carefully, it kind of reduces. It's reducing now. Oh. Why is my light failing? What? Why is my light failing? Uh, I'm running toward him. Is that why? Was my light flickering because of that? I'm going to get out of here just to... Oh, you're taking the mic. Can I grab this now? No. Yeah. My health is regenerating. My, uh... My stress meter is regenerating. It's good. Wait, do I have do I have the coinage for it now? I do. But I can't leave now. <sighs> I was just thinking, hang on a minute, I could easily leave and not only get my stress meter down to zero, which is now just about a hit, but I could also buy a code in order to open this, but I can't now. So I was just waiting for the uh Protection meter in the top right corner. Down. There we go. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna let you walk by, and I'm gonna go all the way down to the opposite side of the hallway. Yeah, turn the light on. It's not working. I'm too close to him, my light doesn't work. Go through the door. Immediately turn around. There we go. Would have been in there, there was nothing in there. I break those? Nope. Break that. Give me everything in it. Give me, give me, give me, give me. There we are. Well, bandages, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. More badges, nice. Oh, shit. I didn't even see you there. Did you not with that? Stop throwing hands. Oh. Bloody hell, how many hits? Brass snuggles. I need a few more of those. Soul recovery. Uh, automatically use equipped healing items before death. Oh, that sounds incredibly useful. Obviously a crutch. Something you don't really need, but... It's because it's my first time, I'll just put it on. I've got the slots for them. I just realised my stress levels. I do actually want to go through this door. It's further down the hallway. T 
heavily reinforced door powered by electricity with a lock with a keyboard scanner. Maybe there's a way I can bypass the lock. Quarter. Oh. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. I got the ruler, so I need that. Uh, but I do need to kill you, so let's deal with you. Ow. Stop that. Oh my god, I thought I'd been out of range. There we go. What? I did not realise he was that close to seeing me. I'm guessing because the meter was full, he literally followed where I went. I just need to get to the end of this hallway, so I should be fine. Oh, God. Did not notice that was a thing. Oh, he can still see me. Oh, he's on to me. Right, let's just hide in this corner for now. With the light on. Our health is going back up slowly due to the regeneration. Thank you, Doc. Detection is at half. Stress is at zero. Oh, it zooms in, like, when I have the light off. When I turn it on, it zooms back out. Right. Three quarters, about to get the last one. You know what, let's go for it now. Should be fine. Should be fine to grab it. There we are. I reach into the ruler, which put up the quarter. The ruler is discarded. Let's get in here real quick. And then we can go get whatever's in here. Insert the, I insert the change key, drops on the vending machine. Quarters are used in the process. Nice. Uh, oh god. Can he see the light through the door? He can. Because the bar is increasing when I do that. But my stress is going up, and that's not good. I might have to take the damage for a minute. That bar is barely going down, though. Okay, I can do it now. He must have turned around. I can't even cut any of this out and speed it up a little because it's like, this is like the whole point of the game here. So I've got the key, so now I have to get to the opposite side of this entire hallway again. Without getting caught. Cool. Let's try now. Let's go in here. Stress is down to minimal. Hmm. Let's have a little... Let's see. I get into the lab door. Go around. That's not the lab door. I'm gonna wait for him. You know what? We'll go one way, and if he comes down the other way, fair enough. Ow! Oh, wait, turn the light on. Right, so detection bar is practically empty, finally. Just trying to get my stress down a little bit. I'm gonna go to the other door here. Oh, he's over there. It's a good thing that I can actually tell if he's able to see me because of where he's looking. Oh, he came through that door. Not what I was expecting. Well, joke's on him. Yeah, I can't do that yet, but I can go through here. Joke's on you, you fool! Nice, he can't get in here. Oh boy. Uh, stronger melee weapons are automatically equipped. Like the spiked ruler could, but it will work. That's stronger? Really? Stronger than a knife? It's double the strength. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. That's the door that we bypassed. Energy drink. Nice. We are in some light. Oh, hell hello. 
Was this Dark Souls portal door? You're doing good so far, but be careful. I sense a strong presence up ahead. It's not the harvester themselves, but a lesser version of them deployed as an attempt to halt your progress. They're underestimating you. Uh -huh. so I should prepare for a fight then. Yeah, fighting it won't be easy, but I have a way it might be able to shift the balance in your favour, so to speak. Have you seen any experience shards? They're pink small crystals filled with positive energy. Uh -huh. I think I'll be picking up a couple of them, yeah. And we can harvest their power to make you stronger. Take a look. Oh, hello there, skill tree. Where have you been? Good, good thing I pushed, because <laughs> I'm over an hour of recording now. This is probably the longest video I've done so far. But we didn't even get into the meat of the gameplay. This is where the combat comes in. Navigate the skill tree by moving your soul into act with a further thing to examine it. Double cuts. Ah, so we have a combo. Do I really have no future? What am I going to do? I'm a failure. Passing attack twice allows for a follow-up to your initial swing. Experience shards, 190 out of zero hit. Well, we just get that for free. Nice. Happy days. Unlock his skills will open up more of a skill tree, but certain sections require a memento to unlock. A special item received by killing the final boss at an act. Okay. Once you're done, you can... Uh, we we'll, 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 we'll might as well have a look. Uh, nothing to go back to... Sh nothing, nothing to go back to shitty job apartment. Uh, family who doesn't understand you. Stress caused by darkness or monster proximity is reduced by 25%. That sounds useful. Ah, I can see, because look, this is a blockage. Grade A test. Memento required to unlock skills beyond the point. What's this? Passing attack twice allows for a follow-up to initial swing, so I get a free hit combo. So much stronger I can do is I feel like I'm going nowhere, like the walls are closing in. Movement speed's increased by 10%. Right, so how much do I need for this? 200? I've only got 190. You can do that, but that may not be... Mm, movement speed? You know what? We're too slow. We'll take it. When anxiety starts to take control, stop and take a deep breath. Take your time, find courage, and take that leap of faith forward. Ah, oh, I see! So, because you don't have it, you're... It's... You're, you are stifling yourself, closing up within yourself, aka those red electrical annoyances, because they're affected by negativity. If you use the power of positivity, you can improve and do things that you weren't previously able to do. And therefore, that the quote that is on the affected panel changes to something more aspiring. Oh, that's great. Do you feel any different? A bit. I feel like my mind's cleared a bit. And I'm less stressed out. Good. That'll be enough for now then. Need more upgrades later though? Come talk to me. Now, try to be strong. No matter what awaits you ahead, you can overcome it. Good. This is like a metaphorical battle of self-worth. That's powerful stuff. What's this? Um. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to fight the boss first. <laughs> That's a clue. Alright, let's do this then. Oh no, it's a warp bag. Okay, so the boss is further on. You know what? Fair enough. I'm going to just break a few more of these real quick. And then make my way over to the shop. Because I want to get one of those code locks. Oh, can I do any of these? Ah, that. Mint green jacket for some scissor blades. There you go. Mint cloves. Oh, I can even get the yellow jacket for some brass knuckles. Yeah, do it. That's probably armor, honestly. Oh, this music, though. Lightweight jacket. It's worn this for years. Fresh as hell. And a simple yellow set of clothes. Oh, it, it's just cosmetics. We've unlocked cosmetics. It's not armor or anything. Go with green. <laughs> Look at this drip. Right, what have we got? Uh, school safe codes. Uh, very good value by it now. Um, summon a cat. I don't know what that would do. You know what? Uh, get one of them. And get one of them. A cat! Right, so... Um, what does this mean for me?
Will claw at enemies for two damage per hit. Enchanted whistle that will summon a grey tabby cat to help you. Ah, so we just have a party member now. Nice. Wait, where's the uh, school code? Other. Ah, here, here we go. Sticky notes left the save codes for the school area on it. There are a few listed. 451, 395, 198, and 659. Note for the merchants written on the back of the wall. Sorry, I don't know where most of these go. You have to try them all on each save you see. No refunds. Now, just a curiosity. Can one, the cat die? And two, can I just get back to where I want to be? Oh, I have to talk to him in order to upgrade. Okay. So he helps me out. Let's go back in here. Oh, I do have to go back on myself in order to do that. Can I just do that without the enemy being since was he still here? He is still here. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna push on, beat the first boss, and I'm gonna stop for there. And then I'll, if you guys want to see any more, let me know. Horror games deserve a little bit more uh, of a thorough playthrough anyway. If I skipped the prologue, we would have been here, so you know. God. How is this not affecting our stress levels? Shadow of the Graduate. What a disaster. You've made your life into a complete mockery. Do you really think you have what it takes to escape this place? You can barely hold a minimum wage job. Man, you think you can fight us? Huh? What? Sure, I'm, surely I'm not totally helpless. Maybe if I get out of here I can improve my life. You're delusional if you think that's possible at this point. Allow me to grant you mercy. End your life before you destroy yourself even further. Oh, okay. He's coming for me. Uh, nope! The cat is swinging. Ow! I didn't dodge that right. Really? This is it? Oh, I keep timing that wrong. Okay. When the bar is full. There we go. Oh, shit. That's a double cut. Still, I'm winning. Oh. I am timing my dodges wrong. Very badly. Hey, that's how you do. And you're done. That was not too bad. Remember, this is on the hardest available difficulty so far. Oh. Oh, that was literally it. Oh, Pockington. I love you. I can still pet the cat! <laughs> I can still pet the cat! Nice. I can't get back into the school. I want to go to the safe. Oh, was I supposed to do that before finishing? Oh, that's annoying. I locked myself out of the safe that I just brought the codes for. God damn it. Oh, I can't even talk to anybody here. Yeah, we just leave then, I guess. Ah, our friends! Can't wait to get home. Now that school's out, I can finally live again. Unless you're going to summer school. Hey, I ate pretty much everything. Well, except art class, but that's not important. What about you, Tristan? What's your report card say? Huh? Sure, I haven't checked it yet. Do it! Can't be that bad, right? Well, how is it? Huh? Yeah, it's not that bad. I don't think my parents would be happy about it, though. Huh? Either way, can't wait to get home and relax for once. Same. Anyways, gotta catch my bus. I'll talk to you guys online. You better be there for the raid. Yeah, I'll be there. See ya. Come on, little kitty. What? Huh? I actually failed. Let the play cool, not stress out about it. Huh? I'll let this ruin my summer. Okay. Where? Oh, okay. That was a flashback to what we just did. So can I go back over there now? What was further on? Or was this just the battle room? These eyeballs are still looking at me. Ah, oh, glad I came back. Lesser shard bundle, hello. 
Small bundle of shards using this will grant me about 50 experience. Why is that just a pickup? Of course, use it. I didn't use it, did I? There we go. Nice. Why would I want to not come back for that? Honestly. I think I've just finished Act 1, which I guess is a good stopping point for this. Uh, but before I take the warp point back, I want to... Something the matter. I defeated that thing, but a part of me feels like they're right. I've done nothing but fail my entire life. I'm a stain on my family's name, an embarrassment. Maybe it was just a part of life. You haven't truly lost as long as you keep pushing forward. You might fail over and over again, but you can learn from those failings. Use that experience to better yourself. Sooner or later, you'll find your way out of the darkness. I'll think about it. Well, that's a start. One more thing before you go. You should take this. What is it? A flashlight with a taser attachment. I think it was used by the security around here. I made some enhancements by removing the safety features. Oh, thanks. I'll put that to good use. I'll take my leave now. So you can find your way out of this and I wish you luck. Security flashlight. Hello. So now we've got a little lightning bolt. Energy drink. Uh, no, I thought that was a battery to be put. Uh, oh, it's literally just equipped. Flashlight fitted with a taser could be deployed to unleash a blast of electricity, short circuiting electrical equipment, and dealing heavy damage to enemies. Okay. Oh. I can't use it right now. Wait until it's. Oh, God. Deploy the taser when the flashlight is on. You can still use it as a weapon by holding down and pressing attack. Whoa! Okay, that was a spread. Wait, why is this... Why am I being affected right now? That's interesting. It wants me to go through there now because I've just, like, you know, short-circuited that. He is still in here, though. Why? Oh, shit. What am I doing? Oh, now we can get in here. Soul of Greed. Take double damage for Greed of Awards. It said I can hold the button down to still attack with my flashlight, but it ain't letting me. Herbal tea. Oh, hello. Okay, so I'll do one of these, and um, we'll go from there. Four, five, one. Let's try that one. Nope. That's not one. Three, nine, five. Nope. Not that one. Aha! There we go! Unless a shard bundle once again. Happy days. So you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to head back to the base, and I'm going to call it there. So, yeah, I went on for a lot longer than I was expecting with this. I was getting kind of sucked in. I wanted to get into some combat. I beat the first boss, and I've opened up a a safe so you know what i think that is very good so if you guys want to see me do any more of this game um then please let me know this is a demo as i said that is not available until the 9th through the 16th of october for the steam uh next fest uh event noxia somnia by retrace games so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next time for hashtag 3d aim or anything else we do on the channel this was very good love the pixel art like the jump scares it, it tackles personal issues with a combat focused game that also involves stealth and puzzle solving and item collecting so i'm looking forward to the full, full game of this i might play it myself but i'll leave that for a bit so you can let me know if you want to see more but unless you do see you guys next time